Look, it's Rayman! Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence Yu, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Rayman games for the Nintendo GameCube. Rayman Arena, on the original Xbox and GameCube, look and play way better than the original Rayman Arena, called also Rayman M in other regions, for the Sony PlayStation 2 and PC. In Rayman for PS2 and PC, you got stuck pretty easily into anything, well, here, on the GameCube and Xbox, they redone the gameplay so that now everything looks better and plays better. The experience is smooth and fast paced and you don't get stuck anymore in almost anything on the racetrack. You even get more characters than in the first version of the game. In the PS2 you had 9 characters, here you get 11. The additional characters are Dark Glowbox and Dark Rayman. Now the game instead of being bad, especially due to the controls and level designs, now it's just an average game. That sounds promising on paper, but it isn't that, that exciting or memorable when you play it. But I have to admit that it's pretty original, as they don't use any vehicles when they race, they just run on foot. Oh, and the battle mode is present in the GameCube and Xbox version too and they improved the gameplay there too. They added a visible timer, now you have hearts that show you um, which character has how much health, and you have a way better lock on option. And the weapons have been tweaked, so that now they are more balanced. This version is how the game should have been sold not the unfinished mess we got on PS2. Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc is great. It's an action adventure. It's linear, you travel with Rayman, do platforming and get to do some combat. The combat consists of Rayman literally throwing his punches and avoiding the enemy's attacks. You get boss battles in the game, all of the levels look great. The only problem with the game are the camera that jumps on, on its own, showing you a portion of the map mid-battle, like, hey look, this part of the map looks beautiful, and you're like, shut up, I'm trying to fight here. And some of the level designs are hard to jump on, especially in the flashy mini-game that you'll have to do to progress in the game. But overall, it's a great game.